Hey everyone, my name is Monkey, and welcome to my Void Mod Guide. This is a really quick guide, only a few tips. I'm not gonna be covering imprints in this video since I haven't been testing them. So, I'm only gonna show my current skill build and the basics of the skills and what they can do. So, yeah, let's begin. Okay, let's start off with the skills as you get them. So, we're gonna start with Triple Strike. You can hold three charges. And each use of the skill grants you a gym or an orb. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna call them gyms as, as it's really the official name that is given. But I prefer to say orbs, but whatever. This skill is mainly used to stack your gyms. And it doesn't really do much damage. And you don't really need to put points into it. Because it doesn't really serve as like a damage skill. Okay, next up we got Shattering Barrage. By using this skill you also gain a gem each time you use it. If you want to deal more hits with this skill, you can left click multiple times. It's quite good for DPS and isn't that bad, but it doesn't deal much damage at high combat rating, especially with monsters that have uh, shields, or rather bosses. And yeah, uh, you have to keep that in mind when doing combos. I personally use it as just a, um, a skill to stack my gyms for my playstyle, but you can easily use it just for DPS if you want to. But that's not how I use it. And now for my second favorite skill, Hurricane Kick. It deals great damage and also gives you a gem. But that's not why I love it. And here's why. I mostly use it in combination with right click. So use hurricane kick into right click. Doing this allows me to end the animation faster, which is quite nice when I have to do combos. It's also really efficient if you want to keep up your DPS. Now, this skill is your main focus to master, Void Stance. You use Void Stance each time you right click which also regenerates dark energy. So that's how you maintain your dark energy in case you run out. But I'll talk about dark energy management much later in the video. If you use Void Stance and another command, you will execute different skills depending on the command. And I will get into those right away. First off, we've got Gym Blast. This is used when you right click into left click. You shoot out dark energy at close range where your character is facing. So if you use FPS mode like me, you're gonna have to get used to this skill. But it isn't too difficult, trust me. Just take some practice. It's really good to stun enemies if you put awakening points into it. There isn't much else to the skill than that. It's just really good to interrupt attacks from enemies. Okay, Death Punch. It's used by pressing right-click twice. Now personally, I try not to use this skill too much, and don't worry, I I'll explain why. Now, each time you use this skill, you consume all your gems, which can be really bad in certain situations. At least, I think so. Good thing to keep in mind, though, is that the more gems you have, the more damage you're gonna deal with this skill. And here is my absolute favorite skill when playing the Void Monk, Void Kick. And you use this skill by pressing right click into space or wherever you decided to use your jump button. Now, the thing that makes this skill so great, but also so essential to your combos, is that the more gems you have increases the duration of it. Now, that's not really the thing that's important about it. Things that is important about it is that once you use it, the zone you create keeps everything within it, so monsters can't leave the zone at all. And that is quite great in certain dungeons. Trust me, like, it's, it's too valuable to actually not use it. And here's the thing that makes it so good that you want to use it all the time mostly if you want to spam skills and it's that it restores your dark energy while you're standing in the zone 
and no, like if you stand out of it, no, you have to be within it, or at least near the circle you create. So you need to use it at least a few times to restore your energy faster. So this is your bread and butter skill. You need to master this, and there's no way around it. But if you're like me, and you just love this skill, you want to spam it. I mean, just spam the shit out of it. And finally, we got Void Armor. And you use the skill by pressing right click into shift. Now, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty much an iframe with infinite uses as long as you got enough gems. I doubt it has any cooldowns. I actually don't know this, so might be wrong. But you need at least three gems to use this skill. So there's a requirement, obviously. Uh, when you use it, you teleport behind the enemy if you hit it. While teleporting, you deal several back attacks to the enemy. But this skill is useless if you don't hit an enemy, since if you miss, you won't get the iframe. So it's not that great of an iframe if, you're, if like, your enemy goes into an iframe. But it's a great way to execute huge damage combos because of the back attacks you can do right away. And it's uh, one of the skills you want to use to get the most potential out of your combos. It doesn't always work because sometimes bosses face you right away so you won't be able to do back attacks. But if you have enough attack speed you should be able to do an ultra break. Um, with any kind of ultra break skill you want to use, and that should do it. Okay, that was all of the things you could do with your right click. So, the next skill I will talk about is Shadow Step. This is by far your best mobility skill, and it deals a shitload of damage as well. When you use it, you generate a gem. It can be hard to aim a little bit in the heat of battle, but don't worry. Not that hard to control once you get the hang of it. Shadow Speed. Not much to say here. It's basically an iframe that is so quick it doesn't feel like one. Deals great damage though and has a decent enough AoE for the dungeons I have tried. And that's basically it. Now we have come to the skill that deals the most damage in my opinion, which is Iron Mountain. It's a great altar break for bosses with high defense, it also gives you a gym when using it. In a burst combo, this is the skill you don't want to miss at all. Trust me, it, you'll miss so much potential damage, so make sure you uh, know how to use this skill. A good tip is also to use Iron Mountain right after you use the uh, Void Armor, because the extra back attacks is gonna deal uh, a lot more into the whole burst combo. Dark Rampage. This skill is also another iframe you can use. But like Void Armor, you need to hit the skill to be in the iframe. But the good thing about it is that it deals a lot of damage and it's great to use at the end of your combos. Because of the iframe, you are most likely gonna have your low cooldown skills back up which is going to help you generate um, gems again, which can lead into more combos again. Okay, so Void Search. I happen to find myself not using this skill as much, but I think it's just me that has to get used to it, I don't know. Well, the, here's the thing, like it increases your combat power, so that means attack power, attack speed, but it lowers your movement speed. Now the movement speed decrease isn't bad at all, you don't have to worry about it because if you just uh, use your jump and left click mobility correctly, you shouldn't have any issues with this skill. Keep in mind though that it consumes any gems you have, but the more gems it consumes, the longer the duration of the skill. Uh, keep in mind that if you use voice search, um, if you use Ultra Dark right after, it cancels out voice search, so be careful that you don't use it too early. Void Wave. Now, we finally have an iframe here. Not that other bullshit where you just f 
die to bosses because you think you use an iframe, but it doesn't really work as an iframe because it's too fast. I don't know, but anyway, it's really great. When you use it, it generates the maximum amount of gems you can have. So it's really great to use in the middle of a combo when most of your skills that generate dark gems are running out. It also draws in a few close enemies, but don't count on it as an AoE skill, because it's really not. Uh, I do recommend using it after using Void Kick to make the most use of it, because uh, if the enemies are within your Void Kick, you are more than likely to uh, deal damage to all of them, so you don't miss any potential damage. Ultra Dot. It might not seem like much at first because of the short duration, but trust me when I say it's really strong and you want to use it. I recommend using it when you're close to the enemy since it deals a lot of damage when you activate it. It's also an iframe, but using that iframe is really hard because it's too short and you really need to get the timing right to use it. It basically gives the same stats as Void Search. With what the only difference here is that it gives you 30% increased crit damage. And yeah, I know, that's a lot, but it's really great. Maybe not at 65, but later when we get level 70, it might prove to be a lot better, because you can easily get overcapped. You have to keep in mind that when you use Ultra Dark, you, do, you don't consume your gems. So, you can actually use it in the middle of a combo without uh, dropping your gems at all. Any kind of uh, hope to regenerate dark energy. But if you use it, you do cancel out Void Search if you have it active. So, finally, the last skill that you get at max level. ASP. Abundant Strength Punch? I mean, like, for how the animation looks like, it's pretty damn weak. The only use I've found for this skill so far is only as an iframe. It deals mm, damage, but compared to what your other skills can do, you be you're better off just using it as an iframe. You don't really use it as a, a way to deal damage, because you you're just gonna waste time. So, we've made it to the part in the video where I show you my skill build. Now, I'm only gonna show you the one I'm using currently, because I haven't really been experimenting that much lately. So, these are the skills that I think are the most optimal, and I will go into the awakening skills and why I chose them. So, these are the awakening skills that I have chosen. Now, you might ask, why should I take uh, Iron Mountain maxed out? Well, the reason for that is that um, you deal more damage to enemies that have Ultra. So, seeing as Iron Mountain is one of your uh, best skills to deal damage, you might want to take that, just saying. Also, um, this is just preference, but I like to take Gym Blast uh, fully maxed since it gives you one second stun when you um, use it. This is really good for um, slowing down enemies and especially good in arena if you want to climb. It helps you a lot with Nikita on floor uh, 49 in case you struggle with her. Shadow speed is basically up the most optimal in my opinion because you're gonna use it a lot same goes for void kick wanna max that out well that is just for my playstyle and voice search you want to max that out as well because it gives you extra damage but it not only does it apply to voice search it also applies to ultra dark so you're just gonna enhance your buffs which is really great Void Armor, I don't know why I have it, but I'm still trying to see if it's good or not. But these are my awakening skills. I'm not gonna cover the EX abilities in this guide, since I wanna keep it uh, just for 
the basic skills. Alright, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please let me know in the comments. Also, leave a like, it helps. And subscribe. And remember... Now, not only that, but it also restores... It's the limit!